Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Go So Beautiful. My name's Becky, and today is another episode of Friday Sews. This will be a quick one as I'm getting ready to go out of town. Well, this week things didn't go as planned as happens sometimes in the life of a person who sews. I had um, great plans to make some things last week. I shared, I think, about changing that blue dress, etc. And making, participating in the Sew Your Name Challenge as well as Sew Your Birthday. I had to do some alterations for a friend. Um, so I did that Saturday and Sunday and she came and picked them up on Monday and was really happy with the result. And I decided that I needed to go ahead and work on getting my sewing room made over so I could make a video. So first thing I did was cleaned up a little bit and put some things away that I had been meaning to do, a little bit of organization. And then on Tuesday, I decided I needed to go ahead and make my curtains. And I had originally chosen one fabric and I couldn't really find anything to go with it. I had ordered some striped fabric, but when I got put them together, they didn't really match. So I decided to hold off on that. And then when I decided I wanted to make the curtains, I went on eBay and searched for some fabric that was the same, um, same design, but different colors. And I found this lovely bubble print that is the same as the original, but goes with the stripes better. So here is the result. I made these two curtain panels with this cute bubble print at the top and the stripe at the bottom. And I was hoping to get them hung up, but unfortunately I did not get the rod put up on in front of the window. So I'll do that next week, hopefully. And also I got a little sidetracked because last week I had, I had to go to Joann's to get some notions for the alterations I was doing. And a thought flitted through my mind, maybe you could make some PJs for your mother-in-law who's, we're going to visit this weekend and whose birthday is coming up. Obviously the thought just flitted through my mind, so I didn't act on it until Wednesday, I was thinking about it and I asked my husband, have you gotten anything for, for your mom for her birthday? Uh, no. And I said, well, how do you think she would like, like it if I made some pajamas for her? He said, oh, she'd love it. So I quickly got to work. I found some fabrics in my stash and um, decided to make her some pants and a top. And I chose the Love Notions Luna Loungewear Pants for the pants, which is this pattern right here. Um, and for the top, I didn't think she would want a camisole. And I searched on Pinterest for free pajama top patterns or free pajama patterns. And I found a cute little peasant top, but, and my husband said he thought she would like it, but he thought she would want long sleeves. So I consulted with my sister-in-law and found that yes, she would like, when I asked her what length sleeve she would like, she said, I think she likes long sleeves. Excuse me, sorry about that. That beeping was my pump telling me my blood sugar was low and I had to go get some sugar to bring it up. All right. so. My sister-in-law said she would like long sleeves. I looked at the fabric I had. I had enough for pants and a top, but not enough for long sleeves. So I thought, what am I gonna do? Just by random chance, had some other fabric. I looked in, I was looking in my leftovers and found 
the perfect match to go with this um, fabric I chose. So um, for the top, I decided to use, I thought about what tops she wears um, regularly and I decided to use this um, style art pattern. This is called the Madison top and it has raglan sleeves and um, the sleeves are three quarter lengths but I lengthened them to make them a little bit longer and I thought this would be the perfect top for her. Now, mind you, I know she's small, and um, but I really didn't know what size she wears, and my husband called and asked her to measure her waist, but she said she didn't know. <laughs> she didn't know her waist measurement. She said, I wear a petite medium, and I knew her top, she was fairly small as well, so I made a size eight for the top, and I cut a size medium for the pants. And here is the fabric I chose. This is a double brushed poly from Joann's. And I actually made a shirt out of this um, last fall. I made the Monroe turtleneck and it, it really wears very nicely and is very comfortable. It's a pretty print. And then for the top, I had found this pretty rose-colored double-brushed poly that I also made a top in last fall. And I think it goes perfectly with the little rosy-colored flowers in the, the other. So um, this is the top and it's got a nice um, deep hem, which I used my cover stitch machine and I'm really looking forward to giving this to her. I hope she'll be, I think she'll be very surprised and pleased. Um, it went together fairly quickly. I made it, I cut it out Wednesday night and made it up yesterday and I was thinking, oh, I might be done with this by supper time. <laughs> However, sometimes when you are sewing or at least for me, if I don't like the stitching, I pull it out and do it again. And some of the stitching got bunched up and, um, you know, it wasn't that I was necessarily careless. I think it was just the way the machine was sewing it. So it did take me longer, but I did finish last night and um, I'm very pleased with it. The waistband is on the pants. It's supposed to have, you're supposed to stitch it down all the way around. Actually, you put two rows of stitching and then you um, create a little casing right in the middle and you're supposed to thread a ribbon or some kind of um, string through it. And since I really didn't know what her waist measurement was, I left that part out and want her to try it on before I stitch it all up and then have it not fit. So I'll have her try it on. I'm taking my sewing machine with me and I will finish it for her. So we gave my mother-in-law her pajamas and here's a picture of her wearing them. They fit her perfectly and she absolutely loves them. So that's what I worked on this week. Um, I did, If I will mention this is a dress that I had um, made upcycled from a men's shirt. And when I didn't realize, I didn't realize that the arm side was so big. And so I worked on that as well. I tried putting a dart in it and that looked funny. So I ended up taking it apart here at the, um, the front yoke be a wearable twall. I think the next time I upcycle a men's shirt, I will definitely um, either cut a whole new piece out from it, but really once you've cut an arm sigh, you can make it bigger, I think, but it's hard to make it smaller. So um, I may just wear a tank top under this. Right now I'm not wearing anything. It, it doesn't show too much. Um, but it's pretty comfortable to wear. Um, I was going to change the buttons, but this fabric is must have a 
really high thread count because it's very dense and hard to get a sewing needle through, uh, at least for hand stitching. So I didn't change the buttons. I bought these little bike tights, if you can see them. But um, that kind of keeps my, makes it a little more modest to wear. Anyway, for next week, I'm hoping to have my sewing room ready. And the Sew Your Birthday Challenge is not over until August 31st. So maybe over the weekend, I may cut a dress out or I may just wait until Monday, sew it up Tuesday and post it. <laughs> post it on Tuesday. We'll see. Anyway, um, thanks for tuning in. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please hit the like subscribe and notification bell so you can see more. I love you all and hope you are having a wonderful weekend. Go sew some beautiful things. Bye-bye.